old cat show. You wicked old cat. You're no lady. You sing you. You sing you. You're a woman. A woman. 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 Yes, hello, one. The truth is bound to come out once I get hold of it. Seventeen times has she given me notice since half past nine Tuesday last. Just because I owe a few paltry weeks' rent. Five, to be exact. And rent, mark you. Rent for a whole life this. Well, I've been burgled twice. So where's my telegram? Oh, here we are. Come immediately. Urgent case. Dr. Robinson. There's luck for you. That's the first job I've had for three months. I don't know what's coming to my business. That can't be free trade. Come immediately. Yes, I dare say. I dare say, my good man. But how? How? Here's me with me box, back and can't move. Just because I owe a few paltry weeks' rent. Last week, she was all for saying, pay up and go. Now it's pay up or you don't go. I hate these weathercock mines. You know, if that woman was only a lady, I'd put up with her horrible ways. And if I wasn't a lady myself, I'd tell her she's a low common woman that hadn't got a decent dress or a hate to her name. And no respectable lady would be seen calling her what she is. Her talent complexion. What would you a saying? What would you a calling me? Can't a lady speak to herself without you a spying, the listening, the keyholing? I've been used to ladies. Where may I ask? Not here. Not here. And let me tell you, as listeners never hear no good of themselves. Not as anyone ever said any good of you, ever. Who oh, are you? only fit to be a skeleton. And look at your hair. Look at your hair. If you call it hair, I call it toe. Why don't you pay me my rent? Fourteen weeks have you been here, and me not seen the colour of your money for the last five. Five? Five weeks, is that all? <laughs> well, I thought from your language it was five years at least. I shouldn't let all the neighbourhood know I was broke for 15 bob. Broke? Me broke? Miss Jowers is broke. Me? Is it me as is howling for 15 shillings? Is it me as abusive because I ain't got it to talk? If my poor dear sister could see me now, she'd cry her eyes out. I know she would. If your sister's as rich as you said she is, I wanted to let her own missus to go out nursing. If you only understood the upper classes, you would know why. Independence is our motto. It's only the lower classes that worries about money. It's so blessed and obliged with us. Then I wish you'd oblige me with a little money. I don't believe you ain't got no sister. I don't believe you never had a sister <laughs> there. <laughs> Their shamelessness. And over their own carriage, my call here any day, if the place a little more respectable. Well, see and believe in. When I see that, I may believe she has thousands and keeps her six servants, but not this one. You, you, with a predicament in your speech. If you was anything but a woman, you would know a lady when you see one. Don't you woman me. I never believe you the golden bed again. And I'm tired of giving you notice. And who asks you to? Who asks you to? But that's done it. That's done it. Now, I don't stay here no longer unless you apologize. Uh -huh. You woman, you! You woman! 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 Mrs. May, my good woman. Hello, Mum, she ain't Mum. Won't you sit down? Strange, not here. Didn't she get my telegram? She did have a telegram, and I brought it up with me own end. Well, I won't come in. Will you please to tell her that her sister, Mrs. Le Browning, called? Her sister? How I might have known it, Mum, from a strong family likeness. Do come and sit down, Mum. Mrs. May won't be long. Well, I'll come in for a few minutes, but I daresn't wait longer. Oh, the horses might get cold. So you drove over, Mum. I'm not a horses. 
My pa kept a farm for the album, but nothing would induce me to go near him. Oh, indeed. The only thing I object to in him may make such a fearful dust. You know my mouth is full of it. Could I presume to offer you a cup of tea? <laughs> There's nothing I should like better, but I dare some. You know, tea hacks like poison on my system. It does, I assure you. I can quite believe it, ma'am. You've been accustomed to the best of everything. But I'd be nothing I could offer you. Your dear sister would be dreadful worried if she knew you was dry and wouldn't like nothing. <laughs> well, if you should happen to have a little barley water ready made. There, now. I had some in the house only a month or two back. If you could wait for an hour or two. <laughs> I wouldn't trouble you for the world. I suppose you haven't a little drop of my dearie sherry wine. No. No, then don't worry. You know, the doctors order me gin. But it's such common stuff. I suppose you don't keep it in the house. Well, ma'am, to tell you the honest truth I ever leave or what I keep from the house in case of measles. You'll excuse me for a minute. Oh, certainly. Certainly. If I'd known you was going to have the pleasure of seeing you, I'd have had the other. Oh, don't be a minute. Ah, oh, you wicked old cat, you. Ah, oh, you wicked old... Janet, Janet, she don't know me. She don't know me. You know, my aunt, my aunt Herman Trude was right. I'd have made a fortune on the stage. Oh, show me a minute. Ah, you old Pikachu. You wicked Azzy. You brazen Azzy, you. I knew she'd kept it. And when I asked her to lend me half a quarter or so only the other day, she swore she never had none. But she ain't recognised me yet. Now I'll lead her on. Your dear sister said to me only this morning, Daisy, dear, she says, if my sister was to call here, she says, you'd know if I had likeness to me, she says. Well, love, I says, all I can say is, she must be a very good-looking lady. Any water, ma'am? No water, thank you. You're like me, ma'am. You take it as a tonic. My respects, ma'am. Thank you. In which toast I will include my sister, Mrs. May. Mrs. May. With all me art, for a sweeter, genteeler lady than your dear sister, I have never had the pleasure of meeting yet. I do say you've noticed my sister is a very proud nature. You know she's never asked me for nothing in all her life, and me only too willing to give her hundreds. If she'll accept them. Why, yes, as I says to her only this morning. My dear, I says, if I had a sister like yours, I says, I'd give her pleasure that I can watch the never she wants to give me. Proud as I am, I'm not too proud. I suppose my sister don't owe you nothing. Well, not to mention how in there's a lethal matter of rent. Only eight weeks, but I wouldn't ever think. Yes, I'm glad it's such a trifle, or I'd have paid it myself. But it might upset her. Eight weeks, the old liar. Of course, I wouldn't have mentioned it if you hadn't asked me. What ten weeks rent? Go on, go on. I must have been here a fortnight already. You have just a little drop more than just half a glass <laughs> than half a glass. <laughs> now, oh. yes, a little drop. Well, if you insist. Yes, and drink it up, then. Well, here's wishing you all you wish yourself. And here's yes. hoping you'll be better acquainted. 